hi my name is Loxman and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a favicon for your website in the easiest way as you can see this is my small website here and you can see there's a favicon here so this is one of the other example of favicon well I'm trying to create a favicon for this website as you can see uh, currently I have a default WordPress logo and I want to change it to something that's more relevant to my website so i know there are tons or maybe hundreds of ways that you can create a fabricon for your website or your app or anything but uh, for me the easiest way to use to make one is by using this website called fabricon.io f-a-v-i-c-o-n.io uh, the reason why i prefer to use this it's is it's free and it's very interactive to use and then it's very convenient as well and you, as you can see you can there's tons of uh, three different fabricon generators here you can uh, choose to make one from image for, or from text or from emoji as well uh, but for me I, I prefer to use text so i'll just show you how you can do how you, you can generate a fabricon with with the text so this is the preview section here and you type your text here just like hello world and then it uh, the preview will appear here so for my site called how to put dot com let me just uh, st might be better and background rounded or uh, let me make it a square and font family there are tons of font google fonts to choose from here i'll choose mine here and then also you can define how you want it to be displayed a bold regular or uh, uh, however and then you can choose the font size as well next thing you can define the font colors you can choose the color from the palette here or you can keep the hex code from here so let me just give it something that i like and also you can change the font color from here so this was the background color and this is the font color uh, currently it's white so i think that's okay if you want it blue you can change it from here but make sure it's distinct so this is it so once you are done uh, the here's how you can install it for your website so it says to download the file and then place it in the root directory of your website and then link it to your website's head section with this code uh, so let's download the file and then proceed forward so it has just been downloaded so this is the one and it has been extracted as well so instead of uploading the favicons to the root directory what i'll do is i'll just upload one uh, one favicon to my wordpress website and then choose from there so let's go here so if you want to see let me show you how it, they look like i just want to so these are the different five icons so i'll choose this one 5 to 12 by 5 12 let me just rename it okay so if i go back to my wordpress website and then you can change or you can upload your favicon in your own way so the easiest way for me is to go to the website customize and then to the site icon from here this might differ according to your wordpress theme as well so it says to have at least 512 by 512 pixels so let me upload the favicon that we just done that i just downloaded before so, so this was the one and let me open it let me give it uh, all text so you can see it's 512 by 512 uh, how to comes where we can okay this is it now let me publish it so as you can see it has already updated let me open this in the new tab 
and then before there was wordpress logo here you can see the new new favicon that we just that i just generated from this awesome website and then uploaded it to my website here so this is it how you can make a favicon for your website in a free and most convenient and easiest manner so if you want if you like this project uh, I, enc I encourage you to buy a coffee for the creator here so the uh, i'm i am no way uh, i am no way associated to the fabricon.io website so i just like this website to create fabricons for myself so this is it thanks for watching have a nice day